That's right. Police say he did confess to the crime and police say they have been looking for him for more than a decade. They finally came face to face with him at the airport days after they had just received DNA evidence results. Another 20 minutes, half an hour, we would have lost him again. Delray Beach Police Detective Brent Joseph was at Fort Lauderdale Airport with U.S. Marshal Saturday to arrest 55-year-old Pascal Estime and heat up a 13-year-old sex crimes cold case. His picture was hanging above my desk, and every couple weeks I rerun him through the system to see if he returned. Investigators say in 2004, Estime sexually assaulted a mentally handicapped woman twice at a home on Minor Road. Police say the victim became pregnant from the assault and decided not to go through with her pregnancy. Police obtained DNA evidence. When authorities tried to talk with Estime, they learned he had fled to Haiti. The case went cold until the summer of 2016. I found ties to him in Orlando um, where he's possibly living, possibly working. When police tried to find him, they learned that he had visited Haiti again. But last month, they found that he had returned to Orlando, were able to get his DNA and compare it to the fetal tissue. They say it was a 99% match that Estime was the father. Police learned that he bought a ticket to go to Haiti on Saturday. They were able to get a warrant on Friday. His plane was there. He was, they were lining up to board the plane, and we took him into custody. This is why you become a cop, is, is to protect, to bring justice, and especially to the most vulnerable of our population. Police say Estime confessed to both of the crimes. He was in court over the weekend. Bond has been denied. He, right now, he's at the Palm Beach County Jail. 40 Live in Boynton Beach, Ted YWPBF 25 News.